Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Please hit like and subscribe. I'll wait. All right, cool. This is an episode of Introducing, and it's a very special one because this is our 50th ever guitar. So in this video, we're gonna be looking at some of the features of this guitar. We're gonna be talking about some of the design inspirations and the details. Of course, we're gonna have the audio sample and we're gonna drink some booze. So if you've been following our channel, you'll know that uh, we recently uploaded a video all about neck carving and my process and thoughts behind that. This is that neck. You might recognize this bridge too, because we also, because we love you so much, made a video about my, my processes involved in shaping a neck. So there you go, the bridge and the neck, as seen on YouTube. All right, so a wood rundown on this guitar. What have we used? Start in the engine room. This is a really beautiful piece of master grade uh, European spruce for the soundboard. Can't really go wrong. One of my favorite top woods to use. Amazing clarity. We've got Mun Ebony for the fingerboard and the bridge. We've got some very special, very interesting English grown Claro Walnut under the studio lights once again. I'm appreciating this on a whole different level. Just the different colors in there and that figure is, it's just what you want in walnut. I love walnut, I love working with it and it's just so beautiful. It's like a tiger. Look at that, amazing. We've got a cherry neck which has an oil finish on it and it feels just buttery. It's so lovely. Definitely gonna be doing more of those in the future. This guitar has what we've called stealth binding. It's a term I've stolen from our friend Stuart Ketchin. The binding is, um, is actually taken from the, material, the same material as the sides. So it kind of blends in to the overall uh, look of the instrument. We've got some pear green kind of purfling, but they're really, Interesting and cool thing about this guitar is the pistachio linoleum that we've used on the headstock and uh, the back of the headstock there as well and on the heel cap and I've even included it on the bridge pins here as well and uh, on the inside of the sound hole. So it's, you know, it's, it's, if you've watched my channel for a while, if you've, if you've followed the work, you know that I'm all about colour and texture and material choices and the inspiration actually from, for this came from some bedside tables that I have at home, um, which had this beautiful kind of mid-century uh, inspired uh, aesthetic to them with a linoleum, furniture grade linoleum for, the, for the, the tops. And I thought, what is that? What would that look like on, on a guitar? And uh, by golly, I went and did it. And I'm really glad that I did too. It's the kind of guitar that I would expect to see in Don Draper's house, you know, on the set of Mad Men or something like that. I just love that, that mid-century aesthetic and especially the, the colors and uh, yeah, colors and textures, it's my jam. So as always with our guitars, we put them through their paces with a rigorous uh, sound playability testing. This has been off to see our dear friend, Will McNichol. And uh, here's a little teaser. <laughs> and it'll take us take you through to the website where you'll be able to hear Will's uh, full performance. It's really worth checking out because this thing is an absolute beast. And to christen this new guitar to celebrate the majesty that is Merrill, um, I've gone with an American whiskey, you know, the nod to Don Draper. And I went into my, my local offy recently and this, uh, this really caught my attention. This is an, a bourbon style whiskey, tin cup, with some really nice uh, mid-century um, aesthetics going on. That, on there on the label. It's very sweet, spicy, punchy, just like the guitar. Oh, cheers.